Hi, welcome everybody to this brief tutorial on using the R exams package for creating simple single choice and multiple choice knowledge quiz questions. The starting point is um, here in R, we will create um, a new file. We can use one of two formats. Our exam supports either markup in LaTeX or markup in Markdown. And we will use the latter because it's somewhat easier for beginners. But um, if you look on the R exams webpage, you will also find uh, the LaTeX versions of all the exercises we discuss here. Okay, so uh, let's get started. Um, in um, R, we first create a new file, let's say, a simple text file and we start with some question. We make this um, a header in markdown style and then we ask what is the de facto capital of Switzerland? And uh, for a single choice question like this one where there's only one correct answer, we need to add some items as potential answer list. So we start with a couple of Swiss cities, Basel, Bern, Lausanne, Geneva and Zurich. And that makes our question complete. Now we need to add some meta information again as a new section in Markdown. And in the section we can add a couple of tags, all starting with X um, for exercise or exams. So we need an uh, exercise name, um, Swiss capital, let's say the solution. Basel is not the capital, Bern is, and the other three are not. And um, then we can say the result should be shuffled. Okay, and then we can uh, save this. Um, and uh, let's say we call this Bern RMD. And we also switch our working directory to this directory where we are. And then we can load the exams package and check whether we can correctly um, create HTML files from this exercise. So I'm calling the function exams to HTML on burn RMD. And uh, this now uh, runs through R and some uh, HTML file is set up and popped up in the browser and we see that uh, we have uh, the question rendered correctly along with the five answer options now shuffled randomly as we requested in uh, the meta information. Switching back to our studio we can also inspect the meta information of the object that we generated and we see that uh, the second answer option is correct in this particular case. Rather than using HTML output, uh, we can also check whether um, uh, outputs in PDF format is uh, rendered correctly. Again, this now uh, runs through R, then through LaTeX, and uh, then the result is popped open in a PDF viewer. And also here we can see that a new random shuffling of the question is generated correctly. And of course, from this point onwards, we can uh, create other output formats that we might want to use. For example, we can also um, generate knobs output. Uh, this is um, our exams output for um, single choice and multiple choice questions that can be printed and then scanned and evaluated automatically. Again, this pops open in PDF viewer if there's only a single file. If we create multiple PDF files, these are stored in the desired output directory. And here we see the title sheet where the student data can be entered. And then if we scroll down, there's now only a single question in uh, this. And we have the five answer alternatives. And if we 
uh, skip to the corresponding first page of the actual exam, we see that there's another random shuffling of the answer options um, available. Okay, great. So in a similar fashion, we could uh, create Moodle output or output for other learning management systems like OLED or Canvas. From this point forward, I want to show you uh, a couple more options that you can use when you uh, create single choice or multiple choice questions. For doing so, I'm using some of the exercises that are shipped along with the package. And I will start with this exercise SwissCapital.rmd. And um, if we open that, we see that this is um, a slightly extended version of the exercise we just created from scratch. And um, you notice that we have the same five cities that we used previously, but I've added two further cities, St. Gallen and Vaduz, both of which are not the capital of uh, Switzerland. And uh, rather than uh, shuffling all seven alternatives, we will um, randomly sample five of these alternatives, of course, making sure that the correct answer, burn, is among those answers that we um, randomly select for a given exercise. What else have we done differently? We've added um, a solution. The solution consists of a general explanation and then of an answer list with some, uh, some more feedback. And um, this is particularly useful for learning management systems like Moodle, where you can um, uh, pop up such information when the students enter incorrect results to give them a hint what went wrong. But the entire solution, um, just like the answer list within the solution, is um, optional. So you can add that for your exercises, but you don't have to. And in the meta information, we see that the X solution now consists of um, uh, seven items, including the correct one, but uh, we have set X shuffle to five, so that at any given time, only five of these uh, seven answers are selected randomly. So we can uh, do this um, again with exams to HTML, and uh, we use the Swiss Capital RMD exercise, and uh, this renders again in the browser. And here we now see that there's both the question and the solution and that not all of the um, seven cities are selected, but only five of them. If I pop up another random solution, this is what we get here. And now we see that also Vaduz was selected that wasn't previously part of the exercise. Okay, maybe this is a good point to look at uh, the LaTeX version of this. If you're familiar with LaTeX, um, then you might like to use LaTeX style syntax to um, implement the question. And you see that we have now a begin question and end question, begin answer list and answer list. And the solution works in much the same way. And uh, the meta information tags are now also done in LaTeX style. Okay, then I'll show you um, another uh, question, Capitals um, RMD. Um, it's um, a knowledge quiz question in a similar vein. Which of the following cities um, is the capital of the corresponding country? And then we have a, a longer answer list. And we see that uh, some of these uh, cities are just large cities with, uh, within each of their countries, and some of them are actually the capital. The um, solution section has then the corresponding explanation, um, and uh, the, the first uh, one, two, three, four, five, six um, items are false, and the other five items uh, are true. And uh, in the meta information, we now use a multiple choice question. So there can be multiple true and multiple false um, items. And um, again, we use X shuffle 
equal to 5 so that 5 out of uh, the possible 11 um, alternatives are randomly selected making sure that there is at least one correct and at least one incorrect item so let's try this exams to html of uh, capitals.rmd it's compiled and um, pops up in the browser and we see that some of the items are selected uh, and some of them are not A final variation we can do with this type uh, of exercise where we have already quite a lot of uh, possible randomization because only 5 out of 11 items are um, selected for the question. We can also make this a single choice question. And this works in the following way. First, one of the 5 true alternatives is randomly selected and then the remaining 4 are um, randomly sampled from the uh, six false items so that the result is indeed a single choice question so that there's only uh, one uh, capital among the cities we sample so let's run this and uh, look into the browser and we now have a list of potential um, answers and we see that only c is true only warsaw is the capital of Poland, whereas all the other cities are just large cities within the respective countries. So this type of um, shuffling gives you a lot of randomization without having to implement this yourself in R, but just setting the appropriate meta information tags in the RMD file. And to conclude, we briefly look at the capitals.rnw file because when um, users ask us whether they should use uh, RMD or RNW files, the difference is really not that large. Um, one um, difference that might matter is that in LaTeX you have the possibility to write um, special characters like the Ü umlaut in Zürich or the accent in Sao Paulo um, by ASCII uh, commands, uh, whereas in um, the Markdown version you need to use UTF-8 encoding and um, directly write the special characters. And depending on your setup, you might prefer one or the other.